What is up guys, this is Paul Human Instincts here and welcome to tutorial 10 on how to create a zombie first person shooter game using the Unity game engine. Now as I stated in my um, Paul Human Instincts return video, today we'll be focusing on upgrading the project from Unity 4.63 to Unity Pi 0.6.0. Alright, so what you'll need to do to get started if you're completely new it doesn't really matter I will also do a brief recap in the next video but today we're gonna be focusing on upgrading the project so that's our main concern today alright so I'm assuming by now everyone's gonna be up to date with the latest version of Unity which is Unity 5.6.0 do note after upgrading the project you will not be able to use it back on an older version of Unity alright so what you'll need to do, you'll need to check for the link in the description below and download that um, package. You'll also need an extracting tool like WinRAW, WinZip or 7-Zip to extract the file. Alright, good stuff. Now after you finish with that, you're going to need to open up Unity. So just remember the location in which you extracted the RAW file to because you're going to need to open that file up using the game engine so just a moment so we can have Unity open up the process is going to be a bit lengthy so I, I'm going to actually pause the video from time to time alright All right, so what you're going to need to do after Unity opens up you're going to get an interface like this the project is not going to have anything no local projects, so you'll just go to open, you'll hit open there then you'll go to where you have the file located, mine is on the desktop in the energy projects, tutorial and this is mine, so and then you hit select folder and you'll hit the upgrade button and Unity is going to upgrade the project from the older version of Unity in which it was using to the new version of Unity. All right. My apologies for this um, color scheme improvement performance uh, notification that's popping up. Don't I need to look into that in, um, in time. Um, in the next video, um, we're going to be focusing on a little bit of a recap from tutorial one to tutorial nine. Then we're going to um, then we're going to focus on the building of the enemy. All right. So you just say like I made a backup. Go ahead, and Unity is going to upgrade a project. So I'm just going to pause here, and I'll be back. All right. Alright guys, so as you can see here, the project was successfully upgraded to Unity 5.6.0. Let's check the console for errors. Uh, there isn't any errors here. So after you clear it out, there isn't any severe errors. Alright, so in terms of those persons who were stating that they're encountering errors um, when they use certain concepts from my tutorials um, I would really need you guys to actually send like a screenshot of the error so that I can actually have a thorough look as to where where exactly the error is occurring and why exactly it's occurring alright so yeah that's pretty much that so yeah uh, the project is upgraded and as you can see there's a tutorial 10 folder but in the next tutorial we're gonna actually look at this all right everything is already set up in the scene here if you go to level one uh, you'll see that the enemy model is already there the AI script is on the enemy model all the uh, variables are already set so um, when you play the game the enemy pretty much pursues the player which is the actual uh, ID in which we're looking for so in the next tutorial I'll actually explain everything pertaining to the zombie uh, from the capsule to the AI rigid body audio 
audio source all that I'll explain in the next tutorial alright so yeah uh, thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video do give me a thumbs up and do remember to subscribe to keep yourself up to date with the channel and in the next tutorial which is going to be tutorial 10 part 1 alright uh, because then we're going to be looking at this here so this tutorial is just tutorial 10 but in the next tutorial is going to be tutorial 10 part 1 where we'll be focusing on building the enemy alright it's going to have different parts because there's more scripts and more um, concepts in which we'll need to actually have added into our project when it comes down to the enemy alright so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and do continue making games guys Peace.